Hello everyone and welcome to Anything Geek, my name is Zero and today we have stuff to open. So back in December 2022, pre-order were made available through Bandai Premium to order the premium card collection for the 25th anniversary of the game, which was a collection of cards that was uh, dubbed Meet the Straw Hat. I talked about this in a previous video, I believe it was the buyer's guide, but essentially what this was is a little folder with multiple cards all pertaining to the Straw Hat crew, and those are reprints of readily available cards but they are very, very cool and nice. Bandai Premium is not available in Europe and the only way we could order this was during a very short period of time pre-ordering through stores that were able to buy from Bandai Premium. And thanks to a friend of mine, I managed to snatch one. Let's open this. So again, those cards are not like very exclusive or whatever, other than the art that they feature, which uh, are basically uh, all of the Straw Hat crew, but in their Wano outfits. They're actually very, very cool to look at. And I was really hyped for this. I waited so long to open this finally. So the folder itself is nothing to write home about. It's just very nice to see all those cool artworks. Uh, of course, there's the One Piece 25th anniversary there. And if you look at the back, we have all the cards in this folder. And like I said, all those cards are readily available cards in other ways. This is just like one old artwork. I think they're very sick, but uh, how about we flip this around and open the folder. Oh my god, they look sick. They also like, all of them has like this little grain on them. I can see it here through the plastic. I don't know if, it, uh, if it's gonna be able to pick it up through the camera lens. I gotta say, they, they are very sick and very nice. And uh, we have like this entire plastic wrapping the whole folder. But they are also, all of them, each individually wrapped in another uh, plastic sleeve. I don't want like this sticky part to stick to any other thing than itself. So, yeah, let's wrap it up around itself and unveil all of the cards. They are very, very sick. I'm going to try to take one out and get you to have a closer look at it but I'm just gonna carefully do it because I know that uh, this plastic thing is actually like very sticky they, they're gonna be very very hard to take out I really have to be careful with that okay first one out and I have to say if you buy this just know that it's gonna be like very hard to take them out of the actual binder and let's take this Nami out the sleeve. I'm just gonna wrap this around so it doesn't stick to the card itself. And here is Nami in her Wano version. Gonna take, just take a closer look. I don't know if it really shows on the camera the texture of the card, but like all premium cards, they are very well detailed in the texture on the card. It's actually like a lot of little dots. There you go. I think we can see some now on the cards. You see it? And they are all textured that way. They are very sick. But for now, let's just carefully put it back in the sleeve and put it back in the binder. Now, personally for me, I don't think that those cards are gonna be played cards for myself. I'm more of the mind of framing this and just having having it hanging on the wall, just as a nice collector piece. Just really bear in mind if you buy this that they are very tricky to take out of the binder. So if you want to play with them, you're gonna have to be very careful not to damage the cards while taking it out. Now remember that you don't have to buy this binder to play those cards because like I said, those are very cool alternate art cards, but you do not need them to play the game because all the cards that are 
here are available in other sets, either starter deck or OP01. We are gonna go through each one of them and you're gonna see that you can have them pretty much anywhere else. Here we have Nami, which is um, the Nami from OP01. We have Nico Robin, which is ST01, which is the Robin Vanilla from the starter deck. We have the Monkey D. Luffy, which is actually the promo Monkey D. Luffy, promo 001. Uh, that's yet another alternate art of uh, that card. We have over there Ooze Up, which is the second card from the starter deck one. So just buying the starter deck will net you some of those cards and buying singles from OP1 will get you other cards. We have Frankie here, which is also from the starter deck one. It's the, uh, also vanilla, just like Robin. We have Sanji which comes from OP01. Just under him is Brook from OP01 as well. On the top right corner, we have Tony Ten Chopper, which is just the blocker from the starter deck one. Under him, we have Jinbei, which is the Jinbei from starter deck one as well. And the last card of this, which is probably the most interesting of the bunch, is just Roronoa Zoro, which is the leader from OP01. So I don't really know how you can go and buy this again because it was a very short period to pre-order those and we all had to wait like six months to get them uh, they've only been shipping them here mid of july and i don't know where you can officially buy this anymore aside from the second hand market which is gonna boom with those cards and of course the only appeal is to collectors like myself who likes to have all the cards that they can get in the coolest art possible that they can get Yet. so I cannot stress this enough you do not especially need this to play the game however they are very cool to have and might make a very nice frame display if you're a very big fan of One Piece and of the game itself. But here you go guys, this was the opening of the premium 25th anniversary edition Meet the Straw Hat Crew. Am I gonna play with those cards? Hell no, they're too nice for that. Nice. Do I recommend buying this? If you're a collector, yes, definitely. If you can manage to snatch one at a reasonable price, just do it. Do you need this to play the game? Absolutely no, you're fine without it. You can just buy starter deck one and buy some OP01 and you're good to go. You're gonna have all the cards that are in this set. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and if you're still here, it means the video was at the very least entertaining to you, so please leave a like and most importantly, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to never miss anything geek. Bye guys.